YouTube planters. I wanted to share with you about my uh, feeding system for my hydroponic buckets outside. This is uh, one of the zones in my uh, garden. Uh, this runs the peppers. And this is about a, uh, I think it's around a 20, 24 gallon, maybe something like that size. Uh, just a, like a Tupperware tub. The reason I put my garden in zones is because you're going to find that you fertilize different plants with different mixtures of fertilizer. Like uh, my tomatoes on the other side, I'm running a, kind of like the mobile home gardener uh, solution and it's almost 40-40-40. Uh, in the tomato plants. Well, peppers can't take that strong of a mixture. And so what I had to do is I had to put different zones, uh, which most hydroponics growers do for the particular plants that they have. Now I'm just showing you this bucket awful dirty because uh, I'm just getting it cleaned out and getting it ready to run. But what I did was I just have just a very simple, small, it's probably almost the smallest uh, pump that Walmart puts out. I, I think I paid maybe $12.95 for it. You don't need much because the uh, the rise here is only about maybe a, a couple of feet. And so what this is a submersible pump and I hook it to the pipe, this uh, half inch pipe that runs along my fence and if you can see down, I'm not sure you can, what I did was I just uh, pull tied that to my fence and that just holds it up along the back side of the plants and out of that runs my, my feeders. Uh, this I just dropped in the bottom, plugged it in, and I let it run 24-7. Now you can use a timer and I tried that, but what I found was for whatever reason, my timer would go out and then all of a sudden I'd come out and my peppers would be just drooped, um, thirsty, hot. And so I just said, I'm just going to let it run and it ran 24-7 last year. And uh, they drank a lot, a lot of water. They needed a lot. So uh, you'll have to consider your particular circumstances what you need. The other thing that I did was I put a couple of aerators in the bottom of it just to give more oxygen to my water since it's sitting in the ground. Now some people might say, why would you put it in the ground? Why didn't you just uh, put a 55 gallon drum up on top of the ground and run it out of a 55 gallon drum? Actually, that would have made it a little easier because I wouldn't have had to uh, monitor my water supply daily. Um, could have gone a little longer between. But see here in coastal South Carolina, it gets so hot in the summertime that I wanted to try to keep my water at a cooler temperature. So that's why I buried it in the ground. I buried it so that the temperature of the ground would lower the temperature of the water that was going into my system. And so there was a little bit of madness to, uh, to the way I did things. I have uh, about a two inch pipe running down. Actually it's inch and a half pipe running down that runs into my system and drains all the all the buckets. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, right now I'm uh, pulling that bucket out and I'm going to take and get some Clorox water and I'm going to scrub it out and get the algae out. One of the big problems here in the south, especially outdoors, is you're going to have problems with algae growth. And uh, having it in the ground kind of helped with that somewhat. But you're going to have problems with your perlite. Don't know how you're going to get around it. I know some people wrap their buckets with uh, some black plastic or uh, plastic that's white on the outside, black on the inside that um, is opaque so that no light gets through. That may help, but because you're outside, that sun's going to hit the top of your perlite. And that's where I found my algae was the worst, right on top of the perlite. And, uh, you know just one of the facts of life here in coastal South Carolina. So I'm going to be getting this and my other zones cleaned out, uh, getting it ready to plant real soon. So uh, come back, walk with me through this year as I grow outdoor hydroponics here in South Carolina. God bless you. Hope you have a great day and good gardening.
You'll notice that the volume on my video uh, dropped out. And so what I'm showing you in this segment of the video is what I did after I cleaned the bucket out. I took the water, uh, half inch water line and the power cord, taped them together with black electrical tape, and then put a one gallon screen or paint uh, screen over it, wrap the black tape around it. What this will do is keep your pump from sucking debris up uh, through the water and into your water lines to clog up your uh, quarter inch leads. And so you'll need to do this. Uh, you'll find during the summer you'll get all sorts of trash in your basket as much as you want to keep it clean and you need to keep that from getting sucked up in your water line. So if you'll do that it'll help you out. Uh, come back I'll share with you more about my uh, work on a new garden, second year garden here in coastal South Carolina.